Yeni bir bölümden tekrardan merhaba arkadaşlar Mafya 2 Definitive Edition oyunumuzla tekrardan kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. Geçen bölüm hatırlarsanız evimize gelmiştik ve şimdi uyu uykudayken gecenin bir yarısı telefon çalmaya başladı. Bakalım hızlıca telefona şimdi cevap verelim. Bakalım Marian kim? Yes, evet benim kim sen kimsin? I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty. And now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. But... Now look. I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right. Just hurry. All right. How many people are in the bar right now? Just me right. now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right. Listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Gotcha. Evet. Hızlıca hemen üstümüzü değişelim. Neredeydi? Şurada. Bizim aracıyı alalım. Bir dakika. Araba hazır tamir ettim de sevgili dostlar. Heh, şimdi al. Tamam. Çekilin şuradan. Tamam acelem var. Acelem var. Çekilin. Mekana geldik. Bakalım Joe burada mı? Vito, you here? Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to oh, leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck hmm. is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Hold on. Yazık oldu be. Lan herifin tamam iyi niyetli olması adam resmen sonuna getirdi.
Evet şu Joy'u bir eve götürelim bakalım. Ben hasarsız çıkayım diyorum da illa kırıp geçeceğiz herhalde. Lan Nereden biliyorlar? Hadi kaçalım lütfen kaçalım. Geçmiş olsun yakalandık. <gülüyor> Ay onlar bir şey yapmadı. Süper o zaman. Tabi şu an şey olarak aramıyoruz çünkü. Federal olarak aramıyoruz. Evet. Gidiyor şimdi Manhattan adasına doğru. Oradaki Joe'nun evine. Joe'yu eve bırakalım. Bakalım bir ne yapacağız. Muhtemelen cesedi yine yukarı tepede bir yerlerle göreceğiz yine. Barmen incesi cesedini istemeden hop dayı ne yapıyon lan sakin ol reis böyle birden şey mi gelir şerit mi değiştirilir bunlar da kazanmışlar çok iyi devam devam ki Polis geliyor. Bakalım. İyi polis bir şey yapmıyor. Uykucu yok o zaman. Güzel. Evet. Devam edelim. Az kaldı John eve. Şu ilerden sola girdik mi? Hemen orası. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about. Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Aynen. Yarın beni ara. Şimdi sitten kurtulmamız lazım. Yukarı çıkalım. <gülüyor> Tahmin ettiğimiz gibi. Ha yok şey ütüyoruz galiba bir dakika. <gülüyor> Bakalım. Bakalım arabayı mı imaçız? Çoksa şey mi ütüyoruz? Neydi adam adı? Derek mi? Yok Derek değildi. Unuttum adam adını. Evet galiba oraya doğru gidiyoruz. Ya tam önümüzde bir polis var. Sonra koplu arabayı yemeye geçeceğiz. İçinde de hazır adam varken o da ezilir gider zaten orada. Evet, bu araba pert. Şurada mıydı panel? Evet, hem de arabanın da parasını aldık. Üzücü bir durum. Üzücü bir son. Ee, araba nerede? <gülüyor> araba direkt yok oldu. Şuraya vuruyalım bakalım silah falan bir şey var mı? Şurada ya selam verelim. 
Mike ha. Demek ki Mike bize konuşmak istemiyor. O zaman daha fazla yapacak bir şey yok gidelim. Ama araba yok. O da kamyon şimdi ona gidilmez ki. Bakalım araba bulabilecek miyiz sağdan soldan? Şu ak tarafta araba varsa iyi olur en azından polis falan görmeden hızlıca arabaya bir düz kontak. Oradan kamyonetten kaçtık kamyon çıktı. Ha şurada bir araba var. Olmasına var ama ve lakin İnşallah polis gelmez Allah bırak bırak bırak bırak İptal Geç kaldık Hayır geç kalmadık iyi Arkadaş ne şanssız ya hemen polis geldi ya Güzel. Süper. Ben bir trafiği bekleyemem. Evet Joe. Martin e, ölmesinden kendini sorumlu tuttuğu için otomatikman gitti. Bir tane bara vesaire. Neydi o? Lone Star mıydı? Neydi? Oraya gidip içmeye başlıyor. Kendinden geçecekmiş kadar da içiyor. Akabinde oradaki bağnan bizi aradı. Gel bu adam buradan al. Kurtar. Ne müşteri bıraktı ne bir şey bıraktı gibisinden. Elinde silah var. Yaklaşamıyoruz vesaire gibisinden. Gittik tabi Joe'yu almaya ama sonuç olarak Joe'la sarhoşluğun verdiği etkiyle istemeden de olsa gitti. Barmen'i vurdu. Pazardan. Şimdi Barmen'de biz de pres e, araç imha noktasına götürdük. Arabayla beraber arabanın bagajı da imha ettik. Adam da öldü maalesef. Şimdi de hızlıca evimizin yolunu tuttuk ve dostlar evimize doğru gidiyoruz. Evet Mafya 2 ile ilgili yorumlarınızı aşağıda belirtebilirsiniz. Oyun sizin beklentilerinizi karşılıyor mu? iyi veya kötü yönlerini mutlaka yorumlarda paylaşmanızı rica ediyorum dostlar. Bu arada biz de evimize geldik. Şurada bir fark edelim. Bu arada abone olmayı, beğenmeyi ve yorumlarda bulunup tavsiye edeceğiniz oyunlar varsa onları da yine yorumlarda bulunmayı mutlaka ihmal etmeyin diyoruz dostlar. Biraz canımız azmış. Şuradan bir kola gömelim. Bir de sandviç gömelim olmadı. Yeter bu can doldurma yeter. yeter. O zaman başa gerek yok. Evet, bu bölümü de şimdilik en azından az bir etkiyle en azından tamamlamış olduk. Şimdi bir dostumuz 11. bölüm diyor. Skalet Devilası 27 Temmuz 1951. Evet, bir misafir var. Zil çalıyor, zil çalıyor. Üstümüzü giyelim öyle şey yapalım. Şunu giyelim bari. Hey Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Vay, her ne gelmiş? What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Hayret, her ne geldi? Şaşırttı beni. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. 
And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this why? Well, well, yeah, look. About you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Mm. Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh... How's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That mm -hmm. business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd do in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? <laughs> don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. Ever right. get the feeling right. you're better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough or nothing, how come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Hmm. Joe, we're at store. Okay, on the way to the cafe. Hey, genius! Red light means stop. Evet, caddeler canlanmış, güzel olmuş biraz. Mağazalar falan filan ışıklanmışlar. Fena durmuyor, sevgili dostlar. Ambiyans. Şöyle yapalım. Evet gidelim bakalım. Yani e, bizim şeye katılmak istiyor sevgili dostlar. Clemente'den ayrılıp. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, the guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Yeah, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business, and that something should be done about it. 
I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Evet, Leo Galante'nin öldürülmesini istedi. Eddie. Eddie Scarpa. Ee, Vito da, ben bunu yapamam. Başka birini bul dedi kendine. Araba. Araba lazım. Şu araba alalım. Hızlı bir araba benziyor. Polis gelmese tabii ki. Değil. Yaklaşık bir 45 dakikalık bir zamanımız var. O süre zarfında şey gitmem lazım hızlıca. Çok güzel. Araba parçalansın çok önemli değil. saate doğru gidiyoruz. Yetişmemiz lazım acil olarak. hızlıydı. Tabi onu alacak vaktim yok. Devam edeceğiz. Bıçkırız diye umuyorum. Bakalım. Şöyle gitsene. Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove Leo, this Leo, gun up Leo, put here. it away! It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? 
You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong okay, with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting them. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Evet, geldiler. Ve ne yapacağız? Silah yok. Hey, we could hide under the bed. You gone nuts? Vito, what the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Hmm. Let's check on the. Henry, get there. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. for this one pal what ne? hey kid Leo you want a drink what the hell happened your friend and I made a deal I'm gonna disappear there's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed and I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway hey, well, super. First, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind Tane üstünün üstünde işte lan. Ha buradan mı geçeceğiz direkt? Bu daha iyi be. Okay Vito. Now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me, but now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. 
You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts <laughs> to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Evet. Henry bir şekilde ikna, ikna edebildik ve Lev Valentin'in ölmesini engelledik sevgili dostlar. O da zaten e, Carl'la eğer benim ölmemi istiyorsa ben zaten burada durmam. Emekli olmak istiyorum. Sıcak bir yere gidip tatil yapmak istiyorum gidip e, gitmek istediğini söyledi ve biz de onu tren, tren istasyonuna bıraktık. Sevgili dostlar birkaç telefon görüşmesi yapıp buradan havalandan sıcak bir yere gideceğini söyledi. Lev Valentin bana çok inandırıcı gelmedi ama en azından kısa bir süreliğine ve olsa gideceğini düşünüyorum. Muhtemelen ama geri dönecektir diye düşünüyorum. Bakalım. Yani zaten verdiği araba da iyiymiş. Tekrardan evimize doğru geldik. Sen bir çekil bakayım emmi oğlum. Arabayı da içeri bırakalım. Kim çalmasınlar. Frankie, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him. Kim lan ne oldu? Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, why? He drinks and he parties all the time. And he. Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen, hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him, please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? <gülüyor> evet, gidelim bakalım şu herifin bir dairesini bulalım. O kardeşimize vurmak neymiş? Şimdi onu bir görsün bakalım. Yine bunu alacağım ya. Güzel bir araba. Ne yani kadar yağmur da yağsa önemli değil. Çünkü hızlı bir araba, hızlı bir arabaya da her zaman ihtiyaç var sevgili dostlar.
Tu l'ha capo, non è bracca là. Vă lăsăm, vă lăsăm, nu? Zaten belli oluyor galiba. Gerekler. Hanginiz lan Erik? Sen misin lan? Şunu adam yürü mi? Haa. Belli oldu kim oldu. Erik. Bak yaptığına bak. Erik. What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here. Okay? Get lost. Meşgulsun ha? Bekle. Should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. Kaybola. I'll teach you to hit a woman. Çoğ. Oğlum el yapmış üstüne dayı gibi lan. Senin kardeşin bu adamı nasıl sevmiş anlamadım. Ulan Vito. Hadi. Başka? Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home, stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over, and there won't be any more partying with this guy again ever, unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? Evet. Eriki uyardık. Dedi ki adam ol. Evinin direği ol. Son bir kez daha veriyorum. Bir daha aynısı olursa senin peşini keseriz. Peşini çekeriz dedik. Bakalım. Zaman gösterecek. Yedi dayak. Can avli. Ölüm kokusu bakalım ona bir şeyler yaptıracak mı? Eğer kardeşimize bir daha vurup böyle içkili partili bilmem bir şey de yaparsa eğer gidip artık o herif herhalde öldürürüz diye düşünüyorum sevgili dostlar. Bakalım bir zamanla anlayış, anlamış oluruz. Hop gelen var. Havuzum yavaş be. Baya sağlam bir yağmur yağışı var. Bir an önce şu arabayı şuraya bırakalım ve biz de kaçalım. Evimize diyecektim ki kapı çalıyor. Şey kapı çalıyor diyorum. Telefon çalıyor. Bakalım kimmiş. Allah Allah. Evet sevgili dostlar bu bölümü de burada sonlandırıyoruz. Ee, bir sonraki bölümde burada uyuyup bakalım yeni görevde bizi neler bekliyor. Yeni bölümde bizi neler bekliyor. Hep beraber göreceğiz diyelim. Şimdilik bu bölümü burada sonlandıralım. Bir sonraki bölümde ve görevlerde görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın. Kendinize çok çok iyi bakın. Ve bay bay.